Got hit with an unfair HWID ban on Roblox and you are looking for a way out? Maybe you're checking your own game for security holes, or just curious about what an HWID spoofer does and how it works with Roblox. HWID bans on Roblox are tough to beat. They don't just block your internet IP address, they also blacklist parts of your computer. Hardware bans usually target players breaking the game's rules. But sometimes, people get banned without a real reason. No matter why you're here, this video shows you the best HWID spoofer for Roblox that lets you change your computer's banned parts to get back into the game after an HWID or IP ban. This isn't a simple one-click tool, but it does most of the hard work for you. Before we start, remember, Slothy Tech isn't responsible for what you do with this info. Everything in this video, the files and tips, is just for learning, testing, and research purposes. Don't use this if you're not sure about the effects or risks. Don't use it to violate any game's toes. Ready? First, go to the video description and download the HWID spoofer for Roblox. You'll get the spoofer by email after you give your address. Once you have the Roblox HWID spoofer, put the folder on your desktop for easy access. Open it up, extract the files, and move the folder to your C drive. If you don't, the Roblox spoofer won't work. Step 1. To start fixing your Roblox HWID ban, first, you need to completely remove all game files from your computer. This step makes sure there are no leftover files that could connect you back to the Roblox ban. Here's what to do. Download Revo Uninstaller. Install it on your PC and open it. Find Roblox in the list, right-click it, and pick Uninstall, then continue. Choose Advanced and hit the Scan button. Revo Uninstaller will show you all the files and registry keys you need to uninstall. These leftovers could link your new HWIDs to the previous Roblox ban, so you don't want them on your PC. Click Select All and then Delete. A new window might pop up with more files. Do the same thing. Now, you're ready for the next step. Step 2. Next, you'll have to change some registry keys to cut any links to the HWID ban. Open the registry editor again and go to the path mentioned. Visit a GUID generator website and hit the button to make a new GUID and copy it. In the registry editor, look for the machine GUID key on the right side. Double click it, paste the new GUID you copied as its value, and press OK. Copy another path from the text file into the search bar at the top of the registry editor. Go back to the GUID generator website, create another new GUID, and copy it. This time, Find the HW Profile GUID key in the registry. Double-click it, swap in the new GUID, and hit OK. That's all for this part. Now, let's move on. Step 3. Changing your IP address is a key step in getting unbanned from Roblox. A reliable way to do this is by using a VPN or a proxy server. Since setting up a proxy can be tricky and might lead to disconnections or revealing your real IP, using a VPN is a safer bet. NordVPN is the one that works with a 100% success rate with this Roblox HWID spoofer method. Sign up for a NordVPN account. Download and install the NordVPN app on your PC. Just leave it there for the moment. You don't have to do anything. You'll need it for the steps ahead. Step 4. Hard drives are often the first hardware to get flagged on HWID bans. Good news, it's pretty easy to change your hard drive serial number using this Roblox HWID changer, and it won't mess up your files or drives. Go to the Step 4 folder where you'll find a file named Change Disk IDs. Right-click it and select Run as Administrator. A command prompt window will open showing all your drives. You'll be asked which drive ID you want to change. Just type the letter of the drive and press Enter. Press any key to proceed, and your drive's ID will be updated. Repeat this for each drive you want to change. Once you see a message confirming the drive ID has been changed, and you've updated all your drive IDs, you're all set to go to the next step. Step 5. This is where our Roblox HWID spoofer comes in handy. It will change all your hardware IDs with one click. Here's how to do it. Go to the Step 5, Change HWIDs of Everything folder. Find the file name Change All HWIDs, right-click on it, and select Run as Administrator. You'll be prompted to press any key to start the process of updating your hardware IDs. The command prompt will display the new hardware IDs for each previously banned component. After pressing any key to proceed, you'll see your command prompt confirming the changes. Congratulations, you've now updated all your system's hardware IDs. You're all set to move forward and tackle the HWID ban. Step 6. 
Next up, you'll need to use the HWID spoofer to change your MAC address to avoid being linked to the previous Roblox ban. Here's a simple way to do it. Download a tool called TMAC and install it on your computer. After installing, open Technician MAC Address Changer. Choose your network connections from the list. Click the random MAC address button to get a new MAC address, and then click Change Now to apply it. And that's it. You've successfully changed your MAC address quickly and easily using the TMAC spoofer. Step 7. Now that everything is set up, it's time to get a new Roblox account. You can either create one or buy one at a low price from any online marketplace. If you're making a new account, remember to use a new email and a different mobile number. If you don't have an extra phone number for verification, don't worry. I'll share links to websites that can assist you with the mobile phone verification process. Once your new account is all set, hold off on using it right away. We have a few more steps to go through first. Step 8. Sometimes, even your monitor serial could get caught up in an HWID ban. Changing it is easy and quick using our HWID spoofer for Roblox, so it's worth doing. Here's how to change your monitor's ID. Go to the step 8, Change Monitor HWID folder. Right-click on CRU.exe and select Run as Administrator. In the Custom Resolution Utility app, pick your monitor and hit Edit. Update the ID serial value and click OK. Do this for any monitors you have. Step 9. For peripherals like your mouse, keyboard, and controller, getting banned is rare but possible with manual HWID bands. Let me show you how to quickly and easily change them using the HWID changer. Go to this folder, or download a tool named Use to View. Right-click on Use to View and run it as an administrator. Find your mouse in the list, right-click, and choose, Open in Reg Edit. In the Registry Editor, right-click the related folder and select Permissions. In the Permissions window, check the Deny box for the Read option, then apply and OK. Repeat these steps for your keyboard and controller. This quick process will keep your peripherals safe from bans. Final step. Now that with the help of the hardware ID spoofer, you managed to change everything that was previously blacklisted from Roblox, you're almost ready to jump back into your favorite game. Here's what you need to do. Open NorVPN and connect to any server. Remember, you'll need to use NorVPN every time you play to stay safe. Turn on the kill switch feature in NorVPN settings. Download and install Roblox again, while the VPN is enabled. Log in with your new Roblox account, and start playing. That's it. You will find all the links that you need in the description below. Let me know in the comments below if it worked for you or if you have any issues. That's it for this video, enjoy the rest of your day.